Hey, we're back. In the new kitchen. We just got done uh, cooking a bunch of uh, meals and putting them in crock pots and putting them away. We, uh, we had a bear attack. Not here at the chateau, but in the surrounding area. So we managed to pick up the meat from the kills and of course the bear. Um, we uh, did some uh, tool making. Got a shovel, an axe, and a uh, pickaxe. Which is good because we need a couple of these items. All right. Let's see, we had a couple things over here cooking. Um, why are these not cooking? Let's find out. Did we get wet, maybe? This one doesn't have any problem. <gasps> Look, it's done. Ooh. Yes, we're making an anvil. Not exactly sure why, but we are. And one of these has a bunch of uh, stuff ready to remelt and fill up that anvil mold. So yeah, there's been a few things going on since last you were here. Presently, we're going to go back here and check our garden. We have a few things that are, <clears throat> excuse me, I just ate a ginger cookie and it's burning my throat. Um, we have a few things here that are ready to harvest. I've been putting it off, waiting so that we could come out here and get more than one or two things. So it looks like we've got uh, turnips and some rice more turnips, carrots, cabbage, onions, cabbage, am amaranth. Yeah, I don't know how to say that. Not quite ready yet. Um, some of the rye is ready. Flax. Okay. We got a few things ready here. So, we shall come back and address that shortly. Um, I think that's about the only thing that's going on here at the chateau. Um, oh, if you notice down in the left-hand corner, we got new backpacks. On one of the episodes I was talking about um, a backpack mod that made these little backpacks out of the old hand baskets. So I got together everything I had and we made our new backpacks. So now we have a bit more storage. Um, there's a building over here. We're going over there. Oh, you know what I forgot? Hold on. Because, of course, why wouldn't I forget something? Mm, let's see. Okay. Now we may resume. Yeah, we're going to take a little trip over there. Um, I did uh, find all three of our people out here. Lambert, Violante, and Baggins. And of course, Pippin is in the garden. And so far, everybody's still okay. Now, if you watched well, the last episode, maybe? I don't know. These things do get away from me. Um, you'll know what this is. 
that's what we're calling it, Scribe's Library. We used to access it through a, a cave over there, but now we access it here through this 50 level staircase. There's no easy way to do this. Do you remember this door? Do you remember this room? We cleaned it up, we fixed it, we did what we could, and I decided to make it the, uh, the access point into the scribe's library. We came in here and we cleaned things up. We lit things up. I haven't done anything with the bookshelves yet. I want to um, probably take all of these out and replace them with with new from the creative uh, menu. Maybe we'll swap out some of these benches. Um, I want to take out all of the items that say may shatter if broken basically replace everything with new and something I wanted to do with the dungeon was turn it into a place where villagers hung out you know by placing some villagers down here giving them uh, jobs I don't know can we get rid of that is that something we have control over yes it is yeah, I knocked down, oh, I don't know, there might have been 10, 15 locust nests up here. And there was little locusts everywhere in here. So, got out all of my uh, spears and stood up on top of a tall hay bale and just shot them all. And then, of course, we had to wait several hours for their little carcasses to disappear. Um, let's see, I don't think not much up here got changed, mainly because it's just the bookshelves need to be replaced, that's all. So there's not much more we can do up there. But overall, that's this room. This was the entry. We basically blocked it off the wall and just put a heavy-duty door so that's only an emergency uh, entrance or exit now all right remember this corner this wall was gone there was a lot of locusts in there that got all cleaned up we repaired the wall yeah there's probably it's probably drifters spawning back there this room I have done nothing with yet because what I want to do in here is go into creative mode and as I remove things I want to replace them like here we'll put all new scroll racks up because I have some scrolls back at the chateau we'll put new shelves up here we'll uh we'll put new storage and uh maybe we'll look into some new sciency things I don't know not really sure what this oh wow hey there's stuff in there I'm not really sure what this room was other than research and development okay this of course was the outer office of research and development so I don't know what we're gonna do with this guy oh he may shatter if we try to do anything with him okay fine Shatter away. Of course, we'll keep that. I don't know what we're going to do with this. I don't think there's anything we can do with this. I think the only thing I can do is go into creative mode and 
maybe remove it. So, but I kind of want to keep this stuff here because it actually looks like it's still working. So, yeah, so we'll keep that. And I think that's about, that's about it out here, I think. Oh yeah, sure, hi. Um, oh, I should pick up all my metal. Wow. Okay, you wanna dance? Thanks. There we go. Um, I'm guessing I probably should fill this room in. Maybe we wouldn't get so many uh, drifters spawning back there. But I kind of wanted to leave it and possibly open it up into another room, depending on what we decide to do with this place. We don't really have, um, other than a trader and a mayor, we don't really have villagers that could just sit around and do nothing. I suppose we could put an herbalist down here. If we did an indoor garden, we could do it back here. But I think that has to be, there has to be some exposure to daylight. So we would have to dig up to the 85th level from 16. Yeah, so they could have a little bit of daylight, maybe put a garden down there and that would, that would be where our, um, our farmer could hang out. So, but anyway, that's pretty much what's been done here. Have I gotten all the rooms? Did I show you everything? So yeah, this place has been cleaned up. Um, I watched somebody yesterday who did a wonderful presentation of lore in this game. And, um, he was saying something about the underground tunnels. Those, those tunnels that I call mines. Because there's a lot of ore down there. Um, those tunnels in his story were quite possibly used for people to um, get around the world. Because they're so vast. They weren't just um, mining tunnels. They were transportation. So, I had this idea a while back, and I may have said it. I'm going to say it again. We're looking for our people right now. Um, Megan should be over here. That I am considering cleaning up some of those tunnels and seeing if we can go from point A to point B using the tunnels. Like between the villages and things. Um, I don't see Baggins down here. Do you see him? He was here yesterday. And you know that because I put a little bee right here. Last place I saw him is right where that bee is. So I don't know where he is now. And the sad thing is, he's working his way closer and closer to where the bears hang out right over here. So anyway, so I don't know where he is. So I think my goal at this point, we're going to go see if Violante is still over here. She's picked herself a mountain and she's been hanging out on it. Um, anyway, I thought my goal today would be to, um, get the bookshelves, get the books I have, and replace the bookshelves in the scribe's library. And really, really make it look, uh, cleaned up. Um, Violante, where are you? 
Let's see, does she have another location? Oh, here we go. Okay. Yep, this is the mountain. She was hanging out on that hill right where we dug out the entrance to the scribe's library. She's here somewhere, or she was. And in this area where she's been hanging out, there hasn't really been a lot of predator action, so she might be relatively safe. Unless, of course, she went down here. There's a lot going on down here. There's been a few bears down here. There's wolves down here. So I don't really know. Oh, there's a moose. So I don't know where she is at this point. Yeah. And I went back and I read a little bit more about... Uh, remember I told you a few days ago that on the um, mod page for the village mod... I was read There she is. I was reading about... Um, somebody was um, trying to manipulate their villagers. Creating a village or whatever. Whatever it is they might have been doing. Hi, I'm glad to see you're down on this level instead of hanging out on top of the hill. How are you? Are you hungry? Do you need any money? Yeah. Because there's so much out here to spend it on. Um. Anyway, yeah, I was reading more closely what they were talking about as far as manipulating files and forcing the change they want to see. And then I went and I looked at the files and I went, uh-uh. <laughs> to me, that's it's way too complicated, and if I mess something up, yeah, it won't be worth it. So we've decided to just put up with our villagers' little quirks until the, uh, the master of the mod makes some more changes. So, and hopefully that'll fix the problems. We should put a bridge across here. Oh, oh, oh. Because, yeah, someday somebody's going to fall and get hurt. Because there's a whole cavern that runs this whole distance. Hey! That's kind of the first time I've seen one of those fly. That was neat. The only birds I've seen fly are the little teeny tiny ones. And the uh, crows. Was that a duck? What kind of bird is that that's... Is that a duck? Can't be turkeys, because turkeys don't fly. Yeah, that one keeps trying. Are you flying south? No, he's actually going north. Um... We had a little bit of a catastrophe a few days ago when you all weren't looking. Right back here in our ponds, the levels were not, uh, not correct. So I started adding water over here. Yeah, I started adding water, and then my animals were going belly up, and I couldn't figure out why. We had fish, we had ducks, we had frogs, we had these little crawfish. Yeah, and I just watched all of my animals just go belly up, and I couldn't figure out why. And what I was trying to do was fix things like this, where the water is obviously doing its own thing. Anyway, it turns out I was adding boiling water and I didn't realize it. So be careful when you're picking water. Make sure you're hitting still water if your intention is still water. Yeah, don't accidentally put boiling water in there because then you cook all of your uh, wildlife. So then we had to go back and replenish everything, so I just got a whole bunch of uh, baby ducks. 
But, on the other hand, if you want a really super quick, quick uh, fish fry, throw some boiling water in your pond. It'll, it'll kill everything very quickly, and then all you gotta do is go and collect them. Um, bull? No, oh, got too many bulls and not enough cows. Um. Oh, this is what I was looking for right here. Um, we, uh, we did a little run around. I went and visited a couple of the villages that we'd already visited. And on the map, you know how we have all these little icons everywhere? Well, every once in a while, I like to take a day and go and see if I can clear some of them. Whether it's something that's been done, clear it, or if it's something that just needs one more minute of attention, or whatever the case might be. So, I spent some time uh, clearing a few of those and visiting some of the uh, villages. And what I had discovered about those villages, and this is after reading the um, village mod page and trying to interpret what they were saying about manipulating the villages. Um, I watched the villagers a little more closely and I had noticed that they were going home at the end of the day. They were hanging out at the fire. They were doing all these things that we expect them to do, but from what I was witnessing, they weren't doing. So I was a little surprised that they were actually doing them. And I don't know why, nothing has changed. So I don't know if it's something in my game that's causing them to act that way. I have no idea. But we are going to um, visit those places again and further pay attention to how the villagers behave and then we'll make a new assessment. Okay. Um, yeah, if you notice here, I have my three discs. I am going to go to the scribe's library and get that translocator up and running. I had two discs put away. That third disc actually turned up... Oh, let's see, where was he? Um, a drifter. And I can't remember where he was, where I encountered him. But uh, I cleared a room somewhere. And I went away and then I came back an hour later or so and there was one lone drifter who had surfaced. And so we had a little tussle and he lost. And uh, he gave up his blue disc. So, so we have our third blue disc. Right now we need to eat. Yesterday I made... Oh gosh, what is this? Red meat, boiled carrot, and turnip. I made a brain stew yesterday with one brain and something else. A piece of chicken or whatever it might have been. It filled my entire bar up. And I was be below empty. So, it definitely pays to cook those brains. Don't let them spoil. Yeah, we spent a lot of time in here. Filled a lot of crock pots. I'm gonna have to get some more crock pots. Okay, let's go and um, harvest the garden. I was kind of hoping Violante would come back. I might have to give uh, Pippin here a new partner. And I never really did find out how it was she got out of the garden. So, because I did, I did check all those locations by the steps. 
and um, I wasn't able to get get past so I don't know how she did unless there's a situation where like I talked about the reset if I have a lot of villagers hanging out outside of home at night if I close the game and, and reopen the game those several of them will turn up back in their beds so I don't know if she got caught up in some kind of reset like that I don't know so I also do think that these villagers have the ability to uh, warp wherever they need to go so she could have just warped so but hey you know what if she doesn't want to be a farmer that's fine she doesn't have to be but she's also risking her life Oh wait, these are growing. Don't grab the growing. Okay, now I'm mixed up. There's matures. Growing matures. Also, when I visited the... Um, oh, let's see how many villages... Can you move? Can you move? Can you move? Can you move? Thank you. When I visited, um, I don't know, three or four villages... I am. Um, yeah, I know. I'm telling you. Do you want to tell the story? I harvested all their gardens. And we brought all their food back. Because if I leave it there, it's just going to spoil. They don't eat this stuff. So. Um. I don't know if I should remove these pumpkins. Will they regrow next year, next season, whatever, however this game categorizes that? Or do I have to remove them and then replant? I think we're going to remove them. I don't know if we get seeds back from them or not. So, let's go ahead and remove them. I can't tell if I'm getting seeds or not. I'm getting a lot of stuff. What do we got? Onions, carrots, cabbage, turnips. No, we are not getting pumpkin seeds. When I went back to one of the... Oh, sorry about that. I want the grass. When I went back to the one village that has the herbalist house, I had replanted their garden with pumpkins. I think I got six pumpkins. And they were huge. So we do have some pumpkins that we have to deal with. Luckily they last a long time. Okay, not everything here is done. So we need to be careful. So I'm trying to um, remember, I have to look it up I guess, to see if one of the mods lets me get pumpkin seeds from pumpkins and how. Because on some of these seeds you can put your knife in here and put a seed in there somewhere and split the seed or, you know, however that works. And I don't remember which... Um, which mod does that? I have a lot of mods and I don't know what they all do. So I had kind of tried to spend some time periodically reviewing um, some of the mods. Okay, I don't know if anything's really going to grow, but I want to give my farmer something to do. So we're going to plunk all these seeds back down. We don't lose them, so why not? Cabbage. Ooh. 
And the worst thing that'll happen is the things don't grow. So. But yeah, I do want to keep him busy. Rye. Okay. Turnips and carrots. Do we have 15? We do. Okay. If it was later in the year, say about August, I wouldn't replant any of this. But it's still 80 degrees. It's still middle July. Some of these things could, uh, they could grow. The turnips, we could get another, uh, another harvest. Anyway, so there we go. Okay. Yeah, this really is a lot of garden for one person. I'm going to, I am going to put, uh, I'm going to put another farmer in here. Let's do two. All right, we have a Tasia and a Hedwig and a Pippin. All right. Do your thing, people. See, now I do wonder if I should extend this fence over one more, just in case this is the breach. I honestly don't think it is, but I suppose it could be. Um, yeah, she's not coming back, so we're going to go ahead and open this up. There. Okay. Let's give these back. some fence pieces because I've just tossed away those three. Yeah, Violante's not coming back so we're just gonna go ahead and open up the garden and hopefully these folks here will find their way into the uh, into the bed chamber here. Maybe act like normal people and sleep. Okay. Whoops. No, not that way. I need you up here. There we go. Okay. So let's see. Are you guys doing stuff? Should put something here. I was thinking like a brazier. Let's try it. From what I've been reading, kind of my interpretation, and you know, I could be wrong. Wouldn't be the first time. Um, of what I was reading on the uh, mod page is it seems that people are convinced that we need a mayor in order to <laughs> yeah in order to have villagers function properly so is that why my people are wandering away if that's the case then why is it in some of those villages mm, 
they don't have mayors. Is that why they're wandering away? Is that why they're not doing their um, normal jobs? You know what? There is one place we can go and test that theory. Hmm. Um, I found a place. I don't think... I don't think I've taken you guys there. I think it was a village I may have found just wandering. And, uh... I spent a little time there and cleaned some things up. It was right on the edge of the map where I didn't want to open up any more villages, you know, because of the issues we're having. Um, but I happened to find this village that desperately needed help. This would be grains. We got a bunch of soybeans too, and I'm not sure what to do with those. Soybean oil, is that all you can do with them? So I don't know. It's one of those situations where I have to go and look at the mod that allows us to do things with these and see what we can do with them, because I don't know. Juices, pickled soybean, soaked soybeans, Soybean seeds, purchased by agriculture trader, juices into soybean oil, and then what do we do with that? Ingredient for oiled hides, and then what do we do with those? Um, do they turn into leather? Yeah, don't know. That's something I haven't really delved into is leather making. We still have an extra lantern. I'm not sure what, what, what we're going to do with that. We don't really need it. I was thinking of just putting it over in the uh, scribe's library. Somewhere here I might have more chests. Where would that be? I do not know. Yeah, see the cylinders? Those are going to go over to the uh, scribe's library. Maybe the paper, the books. Yeah, all that stuff will go over there. Um, yeah, I don't remember. The other day we were looking for my uh, storage boxes that I left somewhere. Did we ever find them? I don't think we did. And I also don't know where my extra baskets are now. I had several. It's terrible having a bad memory. What are you doing? Are you looking for a place to escape? Pippin. Oh, wow. I haven't seen you come down here in a while. Are, are the ladies making you crazy? Are you going to go in there? Go in there. Yeah, I wanted to see if they would light the brazier, but I don't think they're going to just because it's raining. And I can't really put a cover over it because then that kind of uh, defeats the purpose of having an open garden. No, I ain't letting you out. Okay, so let's see where we are. We've got a little bit of food. Um, I cleared all of the villages of their food, so there isn't going to be any food going where we're going, so we're going to go ahead and grab that, that crock of food. That's for four days, and if we get it into a cold storage somewhere, we can prolong there they are. Okay, I found some more of those. I'm also debating if I want to grab one of these backpacks. These aren't backpacks that I made. They would be backpacks that I earned from working at one of the villages. So, because I've told you, when I work at the villages, 
I get items that I need and want. <clears throat> and coming home one day, I had more stuff than I could carry. So the villagers uh, mail ordered me a very large backpack. Two of them. I don't generally want to use them unless uh, we're using them like um, an extra chest or something. Yeah, my voice is going. Yeah, I don't think I can put this on my back. I can. Okay, what does that look like? Okay. Good to know. Yeah, I like that. I, that looks neat. Yeah, my plan was to create a walkway. And I did it intentionally. It lines up perfectly with this. So the walkway here lines up perfectly. So if I do decide to do a walkway or a path, it's a straight line. And then I do want to, somewhere down inside of there, have a path out to, let's see, we'd be going this direction, so maybe to this village. Kind of take advantage of, like I said earlier, that those underground mines, those tunnels. It would mean cleaning them up. But it might be worth it. Okay, here's the village here. Let's get the address. We're just going to teleport there. <laughs> 